school. I was super shy. I was just, you know, I just didn't know how I was feeling. Oh, did you get that scandal? Yeah, she's going to be doing it every day, every night, every every time, every time. Hey, for the fact you clicked to watch this video, I am excited. And for that, thank you so much. My name is Irene and I'm a lifestyle vlogger based in Abia State, Nigeria. I create content surrounding marriage, lifestyle, relationships. In fact, basically what I do here is to create value and knowledge, okay? To give out not just like the one I'm going to share in this video. So... Yeah, this video, today's video is a collaboration video. I'm actually collaborating a very good friend of mine. Her name is Chifren, okay? She's based in Saudi Arabia. So if you want to find out what it's like to be Nigerian and to be living in Saudi Arabia, if you don't know, Saudi Arabia is a Muslim country, okay? So if you want to find out what it's like for a Christian to live in a Muslim country, you guys should go check her video channel out. She gets content concerning lifestyle, marriage, uh, relationships, vlogs, okay? So you guys are going to enjoy her channel, right? So... We both did a collaboration on this topic, our wedding night. You know how awkward, it, how awkward it was and the rest. So please do go check her out, okay? Support her. Subscribe to her YouTube channel. Her name and her link will be in my description box, okay? Thank you so much. So without wasting much of your time, in case you're hearing any background noise, sorry. I just don't know where to pack this children before filming this video. I just don't know. Somebody should please help me. So before, so don't waste much of your time. Let's dive into the video. So basically, eh, wedding night is always hyped. I don't know, especially for ladies who haven't done it before. Okay, we have these expectations, we have these things we're imagining, especially if you're one of those who love watching Indian films. <laughs> you know how Indian people like to overhype a lot of things. They're going to make it look like everything is all so romantic. I'm not saying that it's like that for everybody, but for most people, most wedding nights, usually not the way you see it on TV. Okay, so you don't get your expectations so high. I'm going to share my experience, but before then, so, you know, go to the movie industry, we kind of make honeymoon, wedding nights look so yummy, so appetizing, so, you know, so a lot of things. Before now, said before, before I actually got married, what I used to, what I used to imagine in my head. Those time when any of my friends get, got, got, uh, gets married, you know, after the wedding, that wedding day, the night, I'm like, what is this person doing now? Hmm? So, play, play like this is not a married woman. Yeah, she's going to be doing it every day, every night, every every time, every time. <laughs> I just imagine nonsense in my head until they did my own day. So basically, people kind of hide hype, hype these things. We kind of feel, you know, imagine a lot of things especially for people who are not married. You know, married, you guys, you know the deal now. So, but then until the deal day. So for me personally, on that day. It was my wedding day. I actually got married in 2014. Okay, so February besides me. So that day was one hectic day for me because I woke up and started getting dressed, started, you know, the makeup, the dressing, the, the whole lot of things, and the pictures. You guys, the uh, photographer came and we took pictures. For me personally, at my own house. So we were taking pictures, we were doing a whole lot of things. People that were cooking were cooking. You know, so many stuff. Like, and if you're Nigerian, if you go, my, if you're in Nigerian or Africa, cat. You know what it means, like, oh, how it feels like to be married. Shh. How it feels like to be married in Nigeria, okay? So the cooking, the friends. So even from the morning, I started doing exercise because when the photographer came and we were smiling from cheek to cheek, you know, so that I was just started getting myself exhausted. So at the end of the day, we got to the hall after the marriage talk and everything. We now went to the hotel for our reception, and it was a whole different ballgame there because if you know me, you know I love to dance. So I danced on my heart out, and there's this song that I was wearing them by David Skeleu. Hey, are the girls that dance color? <laughs> guys i danced like it was there was no tomorrow so by the end of the day i was so exhausted i was so tired but then we got to the hotel room a lot of friends were still coming even at the hotel there you can imagine uh, so we were still you know seeing people so by the time we finished i was by the time the guests now left i was so exhausted in fact both of us were very very exhausted but we got to, we got into our room by the time we even undressed and had our bath, everybody was just so tired. <laughs> I was so tired. So the, the the only thing that was kind of okay for me was that during the undressing party, guys, 
Mm -hmm. Doing the dressing part, I kind of felt something, okay. But then after that, everybody was just so tired. I was afraid and I was tired, I was shy, everything was just there. I just couldn't, you know, loosen up. <laughs> I just couldn't loosen up. So I'm going to tell you why I couldn't loosen up anyway, because I'm going to share in my next video. If you want to find out, if you want to find out why I, I didn't loosen up at first, I'm just listening in the comment section so I can share a different story of how we met, okay. So it was because of how we met, that was why I wasn't really, really free, okay. So but then that night nothing happened everybody was just so tired every time no work we just lie down and sleep <laughs> the following day was our meeting so we went to meeting and in my mind i'm like everybody's going to be thinking now that i've done this one i've done that one i've done this one i've done that one when in actual fact i haven't done anything <laughs> so we went to a meeting and then we greeted friends and by the time we got home guys <laughs> i had a very a very a, a, an urgent visitor came so guys after having our baths it was really awkward for me that very night because it was my first time actually having a bath with a man. <laughs> so, so I was super shy. I was just, you know, I just didn't know how I was feeling even that day. Then after then we were just so exhausted. What we did was just, you know, basically lie down and sleep. Then the following morning we went for our meeting. So by the time we got back, my visitor appeared. So you guys, wedding night is actually very is an awkward awkward moment for especially the ladies. Let me talk from the ladies' point of view because I don't know men should be able to you know say what they feel or what they think for themselves. But for a lady, it's really an awkward moment because this is the first time you're going to be with a man. You know, the very first time you're going to both go naked, you know, and do a lot of stuff. You guys, you don't know. <laughs> With the man so it's really very very awkward so i like to say that if there's anything you know that's going to make you feel very comfortable you know before this period please do it if it means getting that good cream for your skin if it means doing exercise to enhance your body parts it equally means embracing yourself accepting who you are okay so do not go and overdo it but if there are things you feel that you can do that's going to kind of help you with your you know make it be, be a little bit confident about yourself then i advise you go for it so but before then because of this overhype thing that everybody feel about it we always tend to over so we kind of overthink these things we kind of overthink. so for me personally i first of all i was so shy uh, probably because of the way we met okay like uh, if you've watched my last video you know i met him today and then the following Saturday we got married. I met him today, which was on a Saturday. Then the following Saturday we got married. So it was really, really awkward for me. It was really, really I don't know. I don't know how I was feeling. So on that wedding night, when we got back to our hotel room, I was just shy, guys. I just didn't know what to do. I just didn't know how to start. I don't even know what I was expecting. I knew from the things I've seen in movies, from film, it was supposed to be a very powerful night. But then. <laughs> Because of my over afraidness, over shyness, nothing happened that night. So, um, because we were also exhausted, so nothing really happened. So the following morning, we prepared and we went for our meetings, and we, you know, from there, met, hung up a little bit, and then by the time we got back to our hotel room again, it was already late. And you guys, <laughs> when I when we entered bathroom to have our baths, I discovered that. My red sister has arrived. <laughs> Actually, I planned. We did. It, I equally. We planned that. Uh, at least we are going to have to stay for a week or so before my red sister visiting. But then, you know, one thing with this period, it doesn't just tell you when it's coming. You have it. Just it just sometimes it comes unannounced. Even though you know the your cycle, you know sometimes it just doesn't come as planned. So it just didn't came, come as planned. So. The following day, C period arrived. There was nothing else we could do than to just look at each other. <laughs> you know, get to know each other, kind of hang out, you know, visit friends, visit people. So in my head, I'm like, people will be thinking I've done something now. People will be thinking, uh, you know, <laughs> I've done one, one or two things, but they don't really know I've not done anything. No. So those times my friends called me, I was like, babe, have fun. Have you done the do? Have you done the do? Have you did the do? Like, you haven't done anything. No. And some of them think maybe I was lying or something, yeah, but I didn't do anything with the very first week because you know, period lasted uh, for four, four to five days. So, for me, 
didn't do anything until after that very first trip. so the following week we continued from where we stopped okay so so what i'm trying to say is that a lot of people have different thoughts different thinking about my first wedding night but usually what we think or what we imagine is not usually how it goes okay things usually turn out differently either you expect to you know bars boost bars boost that night and both of you just fall on the bed and sleep off and you wake up the following morning not even remembering where you go so whichever way what i'm trying to say is embrace your wedding night okay if you were able to do something that night thank god for you but if you are not nothing happened nothing spoiled okay everything is just still normal so just embrace it is who you are is what happened you know just embrace it this is something you're going to do for a very long time for a lifetime basically so why rush okay so some spouse would even say okay you know what especially for the men you know, say, you know what let's just lie down and sleep then early hours in the morning they just wake you romantically and then <laughs> but then if you still doesn't go with that way do not go and be thinking of what happened in all this Indian film with rose petals everywhere, wine, music, you know. If it's like that too, it's fine. But if it's not like that, fine. If somebody even narrated how mosquito one almost finished them in their hotel room <laughs> that they had to move. So tell me, hotel room that mosquito is biting, what can you do there? So yeah. So that was how awkward my wedding night was. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please do not forget to head over to Chief Friend Journal's channel. Okay, I'm sure she has a lot of things she's going to tell you about her own wedding night. My own wedding night did not go as planned. Doesn't mean that every other people didn't, own didn't go as planned. So you guys, you guys should head over to her channel and go see how her has went. Okay. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Okay. As much as I tried to film this video, my children were just trying to spoil everything for me you are trying to frustrate this video but it's not going to work i have done it that i have done anyway so thank you so much please don't forget to share your comments in the comment sections tell me if you're married tell me how your wedding night went in the comment section okay if you're not married and you're anticipating tell me what you wish for tell me what you would like to experience in the wedding night okay so thank you so much and please don't forget to share this video okay i'll see you in my next video peace